Muy buenas a todos y bienvenidos a un video más de nuestro canal Mundus Nox. En este video vamos a hablar de un ex ministro canadiense, el cual asegura que hay extraterrestres en gobierno de los Estados Unidos. Y les mostraré partes del video donde él dice todo, todo esto. Estamos de acuerdo que el tema de alienígenas que están en la tierra y conviven con nosotros ya es un tema que se ha hablado mucho y más cuando hablamos de que esos extraterrestres están en el poder y tienen puestos importantes dentro del gobierno. Sin embargo, esto aún no se habla mucho, no, no se atreven a contarlo los que están en el poder y saben de estas cosas. Solo pocos se atreven a decir esto públicamente. Hace pocos días esta afirmación fue hecha por una de las personas que menos esperaba, el exministro de defensa canadiense Paul Hellier. Hellier, quien ejerció en su puesto durante los años 60, señaló ante una masiva audiencia presente en un foro ufológico realizado en Estados Unidos que existen actualmente al menos dos tipos de aliens trabajando dentro del gobierno liderado por Barack Obama. As I said, was Paul Hellier. I'm a former Minister of National Defense for Canada. I served in three governments during a total of 23 and a half years as a member of Parliament. Although as Minister of National Defense, um, I had sighting reports uh, of UFOs. Uh, I was too busy to be concerned about them at the time because I was trying to unify the Army, Navy and Air Force into a single Canadian Defense Force and that itself was a kind of uh, battle to the finish. So um, this was not high on my agenda. But it, about 10 years ago I started getting interested uh, due to a young man from Ottawa sending me material on the subject. I told him I was too busy to read it but he had confidence that someday I would. He sent me a copy of um, Colonel Corso's book, The Day After Roswell. It took me a while to get around to reading it, but I took it uh, for my summer reading in 2005 and um, was really impressed with what was contained in it. And what I thought to myself is there are huge issues here, huge issues. And the American people and the people of the world have a right to know what's going on, because they're part of it. It's not just an isolated thing. And so after confirming the contents of the book with a retired uh, United States Air Force General, I accept the invitation of Victor Vigiani, uh, who's over here somewhere, and his uh, cohort, uh, Mike Bird, to speak to a symposium at the University of Toronto. And uh, I said, UFOs are as real as the airplanes flying overhead. That gave me the dubious distinction of being the first person of cabinet rank in the G8 group of company, countries uh, to say so unequivocally. Tal como, como está en el video, Paul Haler destacó que él, como ministro de defensa, tuvo acceso a informes secretos que le indicaban que el fenómeno ovni era real. Y no solo eso, también hay documentos que detallan algunas razas que nos habrían visitado. Z. Retukli, la constelación de Orión, las Pleiades, Andrómeda y del sistema estelar de Altari, constelación de Aquila. Dado la variedad de aliens, Hellier aconsejó que ya no se debería hablar sobre el extraterrestre en forma plural, ya que no son una masa amorfa, sino más bien un conjunto de civilizaciones donde cada una de ellas tiene una agenda propia. Esto es sumamente, sumamente importante e interesante. The amount of information that was available, and I appreciate uh, every single one of them. But because I'm not a ufologist, um, I'm a politician, there are only a few things that I want to add in that particular realm. 
<clears throat> First is that about um, in the 1960s sometime, there was a flotilla of UFOs headed south that crossed into NATO territory in Europe. And um, the commander-in-chief of uh, the Supreme Allied, Allied uh, Headquarters in Europe uh, was naturally very shaken. Uh, fortunately, or maybe divine providence, before um, the panic button was pushed, the flotilla turned around and headed back north. Uh, obviously, they had thought maybe they were Russian and they were very concerned about it. Anyway, uh, an investigation was launched into this whole subject, and uh, a document was prepared which uh, concluded that at least four species had been visiting Earth for thousands of years. And this is my own uh, view at this stage as well. So, except for that, there are just a couple of um, things that we've talked about that I'd like to refer to. And one uh, was that we were referring to them as they until this morning when Linda Moulton Howe, I think she was the first one, actually named three different species. I have brought my uh, latest book uh, called Light at the End of the Tunnel, a survival plan for the human species as an aid memoir. And uh, I name five different uh, species here. I'm aware of uh, more now. As a matter of fact, I saw a document uh, just a few days ago that mentioned 20. Uh, and I think you, Mr. Chairman, were interested in some of the places they might come from. And I have in here Zeta Reticuli, R-E-T-I-C-U-L-I, Reticuli, the Pleiades, Orion, and Romita, and the Altair star systems. So uh, I don't think we can any more refer them to them as they because they're not an amorphous mass. They are different species and consequently may have different agendas. I don't think we can say that they all have the ag same agenda any more than we could say that the United States, uh, China, and, uh, and Russia had the same ag agenda. Our real interests may be very similar, uh, but as of now, our perceived interests are still uh, quite far apart. Finalmente, el conferencista llamó a las autoridades a divulgar la información que poseen acerca de los ovnis y de sus presuntos tripulantes, ya que la gente merece saber que vivimos en un cosmo repleto de vida de todo tipo. Esto nunca va a pasar, o por lo menos no en los próximos, por lo menos 50 años. One more observation before I begin what I want to say, and that is that we spent quite a bit of time talking about the 66-year-old cadavers. And I was glad to have Linda this morning finally say that there are live ETs on Earth at this present time. And um, at least two of them probably working with the United States government. I, the seventh, the other species that I learned about uh, not too long ago was called the Tall Whites. And uh, this is when Paula Harris uh, broke the story just a few years ago. And through her good offices, I had the chance to talk for about three hours with former airman Charles Hall and uh, listen to this absolutely fascinating story of uh, how he was working with, first of all, he was scared out of his skin. But after that, when he got to know them, how he was working with, and finally, they became to trust each other and have a good working relationship with the tall whites at the uh, gunnery range at Indian Springs in Nevada. And these tall whites were living on United States Air Force property and working in cooperation with the United States Air Force and sharing technology with them. He wrote a book incidentally called Millennial Hospitality. There are four different versions, but uh, Paula says that uh, Millennial Hospitality uh, number two 
is the best. I think that's the one I read, and it's a, it's a very interesting read. If you want to sort of get inside the, the problem of what it's like to bump into these people flowing across the, uh, the terrain in the, in the desert. But that could be a necessary step in our survival. ¿Qué es lo que esconden? ¿Acaso hay algún tipo de convenio interestelar entre diferentes civilizaciones extraterrestres y nosotros? ¿Nos venden acaso tecnología, ciencia? No lo sé. Y bueno, eso ha sido todo el video. Espero que les haya gustado. Nos vemos en el siguiente. Les habla su amigo Mundus Nox. Hasta pronto.